Next up, we want to talk about uh, sort of the final one in our little mini four video series of alignment here, and uh, it's called Align Self. Now, we've been looking at one, two videos ago called Align Items, and by default, you'll remember that the default is stretch. If you can spell stretch and a refresh, you'll see that they're stretching from top to bottom. Um, we other ha had other ones like flex start and that will start them at the top. We have flex end and that will start them at the end. You get the point here. Um, what I want to do real quick, just so we can see is I'm going to leave it at flex start. Um, and I'm just going to give like dot box to a height or maybe not a height. We'll say padding bottom 200. Uh, box six, padding bottom zero, uh, box nine, uh, padding bottom 50. So I just want to like give each one like a little bit different so that we can see that they're, this is kind of how they anchor themselves. Uh, again, if we, we switch it to flex end, they're going to anchor themselves in the bottom and, and grow up from there. So that's great. But like, what if you wanted just like one of these to have some sort of other uh, attribute there and that's where align self comes in so if I take this box 9 say align self we can say flex end now flex end was going to just overwrite the flex start so by default we just apply it right on the container but we can apply it on an individual item and we can say things like flex end and that will just overwrite that specific use case now we can use any of our line items one. So we could say something like center, which will pop it right in the center. We also have baseline, which is going to use the font. Um, so by default, you're not going to see anything there. Um, and we have the stretch if you want to bring it back to that. And that will stretch just that one on across. So that is align self. It's kind of handy. It's exactly like a line item, except you can apply it on a case per case basis on the individual flex item rather than the entire flex container. In the next video, we're going to be looking at uh, how we can use flex kind of units to be able to size our items.